Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Alpha 21 is out and my first POI review is going to be Trader Joel's because that's the one with the big secret and we're going to enjoy a little tour around the place, see what loot we find and have a look in his bedroom. So let's get stuck into Trader Joel's here, the one and only, the classic, but it has updated my 142nd POI review. Listen to the noise. Oh, that sounds gorgeous. Uh, but my first in Alpha 21. You loot, I shoot, it says. And that looks very cool. Before we do go in there, I wish to uh, just nip around the side here. So let's get our running shoes on here. And uh, just go and have a look because there's meant to be more than one entrance, isn't there, around these things? So that's what they said. Here it is. This is our little uh, side entrance here. Looking very lovely. And uh, around this side, we've got a nice log kind of cabin thing at the edge here. Oops, and a little bit of a notch. And then here is the entrance around the front on the road here. Um, and uh, it's got the same kind of deal with those lovely doors here. I'm sure there's one more round here. In fact, let's just do a little bit of quick, quick, quick. Ooh, ah, there it is. And uh, it's just the same little thing. But this time we come in and we can see all oh, brand new kind of player trader little uh, Dubri Watts. It's vending machines. That's the one. Let's close the door. Uh, let's head off to the door that I left open. And let's watch this close as well because I think there's some funky animations we're all loving here. Let's have a look. Look, one door, then the other. And then boom and boom. Slidey slide. I love it. So this is what we've got. We've got this brand new building here. And uh, Trader Joel is on the first floor. We've got a bedroom on the ground floor. And in order to get in there, which you can, you have to know the secret entrance. And I will show you that near the end of the video. But let's have a good look around here first and see what loot we get because um, it just it looks very different. Look at all these funky things here. We've got plants. Look at these new mushrooms. They look really nice. Lovely detail. Still uh, the old classics when it comes to uh, some other plants, but uh, maybe they'll get updated one day. Let's have a look. What have we got here? We've got rusty barrel with a bit of uh, um, stuff in it there, the normal kind of gas. We've got a bit of rubbish as well on the floor, which is nice. Always, you know, lots of glue since I've been playing this game in Alpha 21, glue has been quite easily found. Um, looking for any sneaky cheekies around the side. But it does feel a little bit loot light, um, this POI. And that's because it's all hiding in that bedroom. So let's keep on going. This car, yep, we can get in here. What gorgeous, lovely things are we going to get inside here? We're going to get uh, some duct tape and some chrysanthemum. Nice. And then we continue round this. These odd little bits here you can't get inside, but there's nothing ever hiding behind those wooden panels. But around here we have some of these new uh, liquor piles. And in here, hopefully water. Well, we've got big here, in fact in that one which is great and there's some murky water and nothing much else around there so through we go oh there we go daily egg yes we got our daily egg that is fantastic that's just what we need as we keep on going through what have we got here nothing much nothing much nothing much oh there it is we have the uh, new chemistry station a destroyed version of it and in there, oh, just imagine starting the game. This is a brand new character because I haven't, uh, and I'm in the 10K map because I haven't made a physics playground. That's going to take a little bit of a while to get all the new POIs loaded up in there. So until then, we'll do our trader reviews in the actual game. But just imagine finding antibiotics. Blooming neck, that's wonderful. A few nice things, nice little tier two uh, doobry there, you know, little shovel. And then we got the truck. Oh man, when I was playing this before, the truck didn't give me anything. This time it's got some duct tape lock picks. This is a good little starter setup we're getting. More gas as well. Thank you very much. The water barrels now you cannot loot. Okay, so they you know, can't really loot those. And of course, nothing you can hit in here because it's all under trader protect. We're sneaky cheeky around everything. Here's a new portal lose. I was so excited when I first came up to these. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a wee wee, you know. What? And then you can't loot the toilets. You can sit inside like and imagine the smell, like being at a festival or something. But uh, no, nothing else in them. But they look cool, don't they? They look really, really nice. Let's keep on going around here. And uh, what have we got? I'm going to close the doors just in case any zombies come in. And admire. Clonk, 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 clonk. All of that again, because you have to. And then as we go round, we've got this other little section here. And in here, what have we got? We've got uh, a nice little barrel and a sports bag. That looks lovely as well. And of course, oh, the, the pipe machine gun and a knife guy. This is just my dream look. 
little setup. And there you go, it disappears, not leaving a bag at all. And then as we continue around here, we've got a little little room here. Little room, we can open this door. And in here, well, we spent all our time coming in here. Nothing hiding, nothing hiding. But there is a way up. A way up because we can walk all the way round this POI. Um, and uh, we can, well, let's do that now, shall we? Why not? Let's go for a nice little jaunter. Um, and there we go, you know, just uh, you can shoot a few zombies off the edge of these. And uh, I wonder if, if you stand on these, does it hurt? No, it doesn't. So you can actually stand on the spikes. Small ammo pile right here. Fantastic. And then as we keep going, dancing on spikes just because we can. Uh, so a little bit of cloth, but we can't get any of that. And there we go. We've done our first half around from there. So we'll nip on down. And then where were we? Look, in the middle here, we have our forge looking beautiful. And we will uh, grab a forge from there. Uh, nice little cement mixer. And these go round and round and round when you use them, which is very lovely. And uh, yeah, looking great. So some wood here. Nothing we can break, though. Uh, let's go and check this little cabin... No, this is the lookout post, I guess. Well, there's here. There's a ladder up here. We're going to go up, and what do we get for our loveliness? A military chest. And, oh, my golly gosh. Just imagine doing that, finding a knife. Oh, my. This is... Seriously, I, I, might, I might save this game now and just play it through. This is brilliant. So, we're doing all right so far for loot. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of admiring the rest of the gorgeousness that there is about here. But that's uh, pretty much it. So, we're going to go in and see uh, what's over here. This is the bedroom. This is where loads of loot actually is. And I thought there wasn't much out there, to be honest. I really didn't, because when I when I you know, played this already... And, uh, you know, when I was playing the game, I just didn't get much in here. But that was great. But this is locked. And there's no other way. Well, there is a way. But there's no other normal way to get in there. We need to get up to um, the trader. And in order to do that, we are going to nip up here. And we're going to have a look for a, um, an entrance. Here we go. It says open. And there's the entrance. Look at this beautiful thing here. Loads of gorgeous decor. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. We're going to nip up the top first, though, because... Oh, vending machines. We're going to nip up the top because there's a few bits and bobs around here. We don't have any chests or anything we can loot there, but right at the top we have um, a nice little ammo pile. Another one of those. Now we've got bullets for our pipe machine gun. Fantastic. And uh, maybe that's it. So let's have a look around. We kind of did that loop here. So there might be something over here, and there's also this other direction as well. So let's get over there, finish that bit off, and then get directly inside to the trader. So, yeah, let's go round here. We're going to just check all of this lot. There's another door here into the trader. Another door out the other side. Okay, okay. Another way across here. My golly gosh. With a little viewpoint as well. No loot, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I lie. I lie. A weathered bag. More glue. Holy moly, this is fantastic. And then as we go around here, so it's going to take a lot longer to kind of get around this place. And if you're playing with friends, you can uh, you can kind of rush for the loot and see who gets it all first. But nothing there. Okay, well, there might be some other bits and bobs, but you're just going to have to find them yourself. So let's go jump up this uh, little ladder here and get into the trader. Look at the view through that window. It is absolutely wonderful. So in here, we have mannequins and uh, lots of clothes. Nothing lootable here um, in this kind of area here but there is a big pile of books and you are looking for books lovely that's what i need tons of them and then as we go around here more clothes uh more clothes nothing we can loot again uh but more books so definitely first person in here they're going to be looking for those lovely books here so make sure you spent your first four points pick those up and see if you can get into things you're right mate not saying anything to me today okay well we might have a box we can't we can't root through that we can't root through this and we cannot root through anything behind here because there are some new little kind of like trader um kind of like elements that they put in in front of here there, there are kind of invisible blocks here that you cannot jump over you can't get in there so you can only speak to them and that is pretty much it all we've got to do now is i suppose speak to him and see what he's got in there we might as well right now have a good look and we can see that there is now no uh secret stash it's just all in there and it's all special for you so you're looking in there and it's a you know prices have gone up you know times have changed you know seven days is an alpha 21 now it's been a while since we all started playing so prices have increased oh my apologies yeah i Check know back again and i will I do have but what you're looking for yeah but just just your prices mate your prices so could we reduce them well if we can find our vending machines which are over here we have two of them now so if we go in here we can find all the kind of like the foodie and all the bits and bobs in there but now all our little uh our little drug candies they're all 300 a piece 
Wowza. But we also have a separate drinking um, deals here. And we've got Mega Crush, Blackstrap Copy, and you also get uh, the good old Learning Elixir, which is brilliant. You can buy that for like, I think, 750 or something. So really good stuff. So there we go. That is the beautiful trader. But now, spoiler alert. If you want to work out how to do this yourself, if you want to go and get the loot from this guy's bedroom, then I'm about to show you, okay? So I'm warning you now, if you're watching the video, I'm about to point in the right direction to get to his bedroom in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, this is the area you need to go to. It is the fireplace. And if you look at the fireplace, it looks rather lovely. So what you do is you get a crouchy on and you get right down here and then you can see there's a gap behind here. We fall down into here and we have made it into his bedroom. And what a place it is. There's his smelly sheets. Here's his lovely little kitchen. And of course, this is where he takes a nice dump. And what did he do? He left his paper in there. So we'll nick that. There's some medical supplies in here. Very good with a bit more medical journal. A nice pile of food. Uh, some dog food for us. A nice sink's available today. So we'll get some metal. A nice stove. Yep, all the usual rubbish. And of course, you're still going to be going through tons and tons of cabinets and all these POIs because you want to find all the other things. If you're not going to find water, well, you're going to find other stuff. There is a foot locker deal here look at that i can sell that to him for a whole 12 okay a few more books which are essential in this game right now um armor plating mod schematic fantastic there's some shoes here so we can search those get ourselves some decent boots we can admire the wildlife um the uh, the beautiful buffaloes the large um big yeah okay just mm -hmm, okay and uh around here well this is all locked because that's still protected you're not going to be able to get in there so a whole bunch of extra loot absolutely wonderful and we get to access his bedroom to get out of here you just go up to the key lock and there we go boom we're out and it is forever now open for any other player to come in and see that you stole all the good stuff so there we go. That is Trader Joel. This is going to be the first of all the traders that I'm going to review. And of course, boom, let's go up here. Uh, once we built the physics playground, we're also going to be reviewing plenty more POIs too. We're going to try and get at least a couple of these out every single week if not more and of course you can find me playing this game every thursday and a lot more on twitch rooney and the discord too hit up all the nice buttons for me thank you for watching and i'll just fly into this lovely little flag here and say well goodbye